is in charge of the, the pets, the, basically the birds. Birds means the hen, the duck, the geese, the guinea fowls, the um, turkeys, the mutton, chicken, and you know, gizzards, all these things. And I can see them from my from my cottage and from my balcony. Early morning, exactly 5.30, this abbey goes and opens. No, because early bird catch is the best prey was our Shastra. So when the light comes, they must open. Before it was 6 o'clock. When the winter comes, 6, 6.37. But now as the summer is going to get an end, it is now at 5.30, there's a lot of light. So she opens and she walks in. And I was shocked. Why are you going unconscious? Why is this girl is going unconscious? She reached, uh, she passed her second PhD, going to her degree. Then I called the seniors and said, please teach her to be conscious of her surrounding. What is the conscious surrounding? So much light came at 6, 5.30. God has given the sunlight full light. And just next to the chicken cage, there's a huge big uh, street light. She can just switch off unless that light and sunlight. Conscious, just a bit of that consciousness. I was sitting in Indira Nagar, then there was a call from Devinahali school telling Guruji, tomorrow is bread day, so please don't forget to bring bread. So I checked, we had only 25 packets of bread. So the Devinahali school needs 50 packets of bread. So in the morning, the children have bread, butter, jam, and bread, omelette. And afternoon kids, the day scholars also will give them one, one slice of bread with the uh, uh, butter and jam. So that's for 50 packets. But when we checked it up, the rates in Indranago was, and I think the stores was going at 50 rupees. So we asked whether they give us concession. They said, we can give you only 2 rupees concession, 40. I checked in, they were only getting at 45. I said, check with the big market. They checked it. The big market is selling 50 and 55. I said, damn it. One slice of bread is going to cost me 5 rupees. So my kids are going to eat 5 to 10. It's going to be a big amount. So I, I called Art Kavita and told her to check it out. Whether we can make dosa, convert the Thursday's bread to dosa. Dosa because rice we are having. We have the two dal ready. So if you can make an Art Kavita, we made it. said, it's not possible. I said, check with the kitchen staff. She said, it's not possible because we have to soak it. Oh my God. I asked our creator whether did you calculate before you tell how many hours it takes to soak? Before she could give me a reply, I rushed up to Zini and said, Zini, check with the kitchen staff. Kitchen staff said, Oh, we need only two hours for soaking <laughs> and grinding, and it'll ready. Two hours. Then I came back to our creator and said, Before you reply, if I ask you one question, you should be able to open up to 100 varieties of answers from me because I've always Ask a second answer. Then we found out. Those are really immediate. Uh, Kanika sent me a message telling, No, 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 I can make in three hours, I can um, grind it and I can make it. Uh, I can make masala dosa. So tomorrow is masala dosa for all of us. <laughs> See, a little bit of fight, a little bit of consciousness of looking inside, you get one of the best. And it's cheaper because the rice and two dal people can donate to us free, of course. Bread. Now it is very difficult to collect in that huge Bhagavad Gita through selfless service. You will always be fruitful and find the fulfillment of your desires through selfless service. You will be always be fruitful and find the fulfillment of your desires. That was what Mother Teresa. She was walking in the street and a small boy ran to her and said, Ma, Ma, bring me something to eat. She looked at him. And she didn't know what to do. She digged because she carries a small bottle and wanted to bread in case a hunger to bite. She digged her hand into her back. She pulled out the bud and slowly gave to the boy. What the boy did, you know? The boy ran. Mother couldn't give up. So mother ran behind the boy. And on the side, she found the boy took the bud and from that place, one small girl was sitting. Her sister, I think. She tore the bud, gave her half and half she was. He was eating. Mother felt this is real Bhagavad Gita in India, in the massive poverty. 
of the invaders who created this poverty and still the children are happy. They are not complaining. They just took the peas and shared with their sister. You know, selfless service will always be fruitful and find the fulfillment. Not only really you be fruitful, when the people who are watching them also be fruitful. Mother of Teresa became so fruitful of the Bhagavad Gita, which has been in real action in India. She was shocked and she got converted to the Indian Sanskrit. Yes. Hence, she took Nirmala's sister as her next disciple because she knew that only that the, every part of the Indian children's body is full of Sanskrit. Yes, we can understand psychological most of the thing through selfless service. Self what is selfless service? Karma Yuga says, keep doing work without expecting results. You keep doing, you just do, and you can see it is just growing. Yes. You have to just dig it up, put it, and when by the time you turn around, the grass is grown. The go, you're hit. He told you pouring water. It knows it's part. When you talk to an animal, you always find out the animal is talking back to you. Through selfless service, you will always be fruitful and find the fulfillment of your desires. You find it. As much power as possible. Only thing is, you have to disconnect. When you enter your house, even the Japanese men are also taught, when you enter the house, just drop your company's work schedules from your mind. Just drop it. And then go home. When you're in your home, only your home. And I've seen that in many of our Indian ashrams. They always put a board outside. Please leave your slippers and your mind outside. Yes. That, that will be the beauty. So when the man goes to his wife, he drops everything and he finds his wife so beautiful. And the wife only finds that he's the only prince. And when they both melt together, there will be thunder. Kudu kudu means you, yes. There will be thunder and lightning. And there is a massive rainfall, yes. And the rainfall is full of power, ozone water, which just makes the land so beautiful. And the plants grow very powerfully. And buds open and flowers are so fresh. Such is the beauty of that selfless service. That karma you go of between fathers and mother. When father and mother melts, you can see it in the house. No germs are there. And next day you can find the children jumping and dancing. Yes. Such was the beauty of Rakum school. I went to Rakum school to see what this Rakum and children are doing. I saw he and his children are sitting in front of an empty plate. Not one or two students, 275 students sitting empty. I asked, where is the food? He said, ha, today we are fasting. Why are you fasting? I asked, because there was nothing in the storeroom. But, but there is nothing in the storeroom. This is not fasting. This is starvation. No, no, no. We don't complain to God or to anybody. We just melt with that the fasting, that emptiness. But still yesterday he gave. So what if one day he has not given? And then it was shocking. That created a thunder and lightning among the people of Bangalore city. And everybody started making calls to rock and school. He said, food today. He said, food today. Well, when you melt, you know, the whole world melts. That was the power of the karma yoga that to melt with your children. And when you melt with your father and mother becomes together and children's mind opens, you don't have to go to any doctor to make sure that the, that the intelligence is uh, growing better, their love relationship is growing better. Nothing, nothing. It just builds up a powerful base and the powerful base connection is called joint family and a joint family is called connected with family then where there is yes a family sits together it grows together i have seen one factory owner and his wife when the children were small also i seen the father and mother always going wife and husband always going to the factory coming back 
When the children have grown up all the same. Now also they walk and the children are already married. The son and the daughter walk behind my father and mother to get there. I was thinking like uh, about Lakshmi English. Lakshmi English children leaves him in the house alone and goes to every place. They should always be with the Lakshmi English. Yes, that was the power of the family. Then Lakshmi English will have a big smile on his face. Yes, I could find, yes. Whenever there is house, the loneliness will always create a distraction. Children understand that. You always be with them. Fathers and mothers also always be together. They together take bath, they together laugh. And you can see there is thunder and lightning. That thunder and lightning, you do not even have to open the Bhagavad Gita book. Yes, you are the Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita, see, through selfless service. You will always be truthful and find the fulfillment of your desires.